Compared to Buddhist literature, the Bun tradition and the Bun religion have, has really next to no publications uh, anywhere in comparison to Buddhism. And when we're dealing with um, general art publications, then again, there's no comparison. Uh, whereas Buddhism can fill up uh, a huge room, an auditorium, or a, a large building, generally the number of, of bun publications in the English language would, would fill one bookshelf. There's really just not very many of them. So we've done one video already as an introduction to bun publications. We talked about, I think, the Bun religion of Tibet, and then we talked about Bun, the magic word. Now, that's actually a, a, a publication that I did with um, Samten Karme uh, some years back. Uh, now, there's a, there's a third book here called uh, Bun, Tibet's Ancient Religion. Now, this, I believe, was first published in 1999, but the English version may not have come out until a few years later, maybe 2002. And it's uh, done by uh, Christoph Baumer. And it covers religious context, it covers geography, it covers site locations. And um, very importantly for art history, um, there are a lot of color images of murals, uh, sculpture, uh, and uh, portable uh, scroll work uh, paintings. So this book is one of the very few that is uh, very general, very broad, and extremely informative, and is a true introduction to the Bun tradition with all aspects, literature, deities, uh, monasteries, um, early history, middle history, and late period history, and it's um, with some examples of merging with uh, with uh, Buddhism and Buddhist ideas. So, so this publication um, is, is even more broad than uh, Bon the Magic Word that I did with Samten Karme. This, this book is much more broad and uh, covers many, many more aspects of the history. So, so this is one of, uh, of uh, the very, very few very good books uh, on the Bun tradition. So press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation to Himalayan Art Resources on the homepage.